So XRP was designed to facilitate fast, low cost cross border payments, making it a critical asset for financial institutions. Now, the unfortunate thing with XRP is it's in a dispute or a lawsuit with the SEC. And the SEC is basically suppressing the price of XRP. So if you look at the previous bull run, 2021, it has not been as high price-wise since the bull run before that because for a few years now, they've been in a fight with the SEC or whether it is a security in the US. Now, Ripple, which is obviously the, the company that issues XRP, is looking at institutional adoption and central bank digital currencies. And we know that our masters, the elites, the WEF, um, want to implement central bank digital currencies with Agenda 2030. That is if we don't have World War Three and a fake alien invasion before them. You think I'm joking, but I read all this stuff. But anyway, they're looking at collaborating with central banks worldwide to integrate XRP and central bank digital currencies for efficient cross-border transactions. Now, widespread central bank digital currency implementation will cause XRP to pump. But on the other side, it will create a level of centralization and control which could affect anyone that invests in XRP. A global settlement layer for CBDCs could cause sudden demand for XRP, leading to a significant price surge. So we know a lot of companies, uh, sorry, a lot of countries, well, Pretty much all of them want CBDCs. So what we've got to say is for these CBDCs, if they all used XRP, obviously the price would go insane. However, what I want to look at, and I've said this before, and I say this to guys that own XRP in my training group, in my training program, in the community, Link in description if you want to join. What I say to them is always beware of market cap. And I know in the comments, straight away, people are going to be like, market cap doesn't matter. Market cap doesn't matter. It does. Anything financial in terms of market cap, it does matter. So, for example, the current circulating supply at time of recording is 52 billion XRP. Right? So... The market cap can drastically change. And I've seen videos online about insane predictions for XRP. So this is just going to show you how realistic it is to see um, the market cap at different price points. I've just Googled now. Uh, 55 cents is the um, price of uh, XRP at the moment with a $31 billion market cap. The price of XRP at a dollar, the market cap would be 52 billion. At $10, 520 billion. And this is where we start getting insane. XRP at $100, the market cap will be 5.2 trillion. Larger than most global companies and comparable to large economies. At 1,000, the market cap will be 52 trillion larger than the global GDP of most countries and the final figure which is $10,000 XRP the market cap would be 520 trillion dollars which is more than the entire global market economy combined so you can see and even if every single country in the world adopted it for settlements which is highly unlikely every single one you can see how unrealistic this is now how does this play into the lawsuit 
because the ongoing lawsuit for a few years can affect the perception of XRP in the market because obviously if the USA, which leads the world, if that is in a lawsuit with it, is that going to put off other potential countries from getting involved with it? Is it going to put them off? That's what you've got to think. And global regulation is coming in on cryptocurrencies as well. Specifically that could target, you know, CBDCs. So you've got to think taxes in the UK. We know that taxes are going to go up here. They just went up in Italy, doubled in Italy, the crypto taxes. So that was going to affect anything in crypto, including XRP. But what I will say is, and I've said this to people in my crypto group with XRP, what would I do personally with XRP? So this is my opinion. Um, if I owned it, I would probably keep it to see what would happen, i.e. people adopting uh, XRP for the settlements, countries using it for the CBDCs, etc. But I probably wouldn't buy any more because, all right, you've seen the price predictions on YouTube, $1,000, whatever, so at 55 cents, it's going to do a thousand X or whatever ridiculous prediction someone comes up with. But is it realistically? That's what you've got to think. Is it realistically going to do this insane uh, prediction? Always have a diversified portfolio, which we talk about a lot. Always look at different other coins in different other sectors. But if you want XRP, I just hold it. See what happens going forward in the next uh, few years in terms of implementation. And, you know, a lot of people maybe Max is in this. A lot of people maybe still DC and into it. But I just think that um, how high the market cap is, you know, there's other coins out there that, that in, definitely in this bull run could make better gains for this particular bull run than XRP because we don't even know if this this case it will be over by the end of the bull run is dragged on on and on and on again so in my opinion best thing to do if you've got it is just huddle it don't buy any more and if you if you are a maxi definitely look at researching other potential coins within crypto because there's definitely a lot more out there that you can look at and that you can definitely get more gains with um to be honest with you in crypto that's it for me today if you do like my content please subscribe like the video and i'll see you all very soon